Hey everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, and what do I have going for today's video? Well, if you remembered a few videos ago, I did a review of this Royal Langnickel watercolor drawing kit. It was... Uh... But if there was one thing out of that otherwise mediocre kit that I actually did like, it was the colored pencils. Or rather, watercolor pencils. I thought it might be nice to give them a second chance on better paper, so I brought out my Arteza watercolor sketchbook. What I used as a reference for the sketch was something that I found on Pixabay, which for those of you that are unaware, it is a magnificent site full of absolutely free to use reference pictures that are copyright free. So if you're in a if you're in a fix looking for some sort of reference that you're not going to be scared to use, Pixabay is the place to go. I really wanted to use all of the colors granted. They were pretty limited, but I had a rainbow, so that's something I could work with. Truly, it is amazing just how much changing the paper made these pencils even better. I mean, I'm not saying that they're going to change the universe or anything, but in all honesty, they're not half bad at all. In fact, I wouldn't mind getting a bigger set of these pencils. While the watercolor pencils that came in the kit are decent, you're going to have some issues with building depth especially since the darkest color is black, which can turn to mud if you're not careful. Although blue and green can be useful for shading if black would be too harsh. Now, if you like the effects of watercolor but aren't terribly fond of the lack of control, then watercolor pencils are the medium for you. Watercolor pencils have always been a favorite medium of mine, they're great for mixed media pieces, especially. Now, I'll probably revisit these pencils yet again, this time with better watercolors to use in conjunction with them. Spoiler alert, but the watercolor pans, cakes, pancakes. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Watercolor pancakes. Anyways, those things were lousy. However, standing alone on better quality paper, I'm rather happy with how these pencils are working so far. One thing that I love about watercolor pencils is that I personally find layering with them to be so much easier than layering with regular colored pencils. Those of you that have used colored pencils before know what a tedious, time-consuming process it is to build up those layers. Sometimes it feels like it will only end when your wrist falls off. Well, with the watercolor pencils, the water really helps to fill in those nasty little gaps on the paper. Of course, you can always put down a layer or five of the watercolor pencils first, then use your regular colored pencils over that. Well now, there's an idea for a future video. Huh. And while I wasn't originally planning on bringing in anything else, I kind of remembered those sparkly glitter watercolors I've used once before. Maybe twice? I don't remember at this point. Some of you longer time viewers may know these from one of my previous videos. I'll post that cringe fest in the description below. Still not my proudest piece to be honest. However, I love the subtle shimmer these iridescent paints brought. I didn't want them to take over, just enhance. And I think they did just that. Overall conclusion, some art kits are great, others not so much. Sometimes just take the bits and pieces from previous kits that you liked and make your own. Anyways, that's all the time we've got for today's video. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Every single like, subscribe, and comment helps this channel grow. With that being said, this is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!